Hey, it's Pauline. I'm here at Team Capital DC's house. Today we're going to learn about passive solar. Hi, I'm here with Jeremy from Team Capital DC at the Harvest House. Can you tell me what your major is and what your role in the project has been? Yes, I am the Architect Project Manager of uh, Team Capital DC Solar House. Um, my major is a Master's of Science in Sustainable Design and then also a Master's of Architecture. And can you tell me about passive design and how it works? Yes, um, our passive design um, in our home is mostly cross ventilation from our south glazing all the way to the back, as well as looking at a new innovation technology of um, shape memory alloys that are in our louver systems here, that when passively heated um, by the sun, they actually close our louvers, so there's no solar heat gain within our home. That's awesome, and this is a new design specifically for the house, the shading louvers. Yes, um, this is a brand new design, it hasn't been done before, so we're looking, looking forward to uh, for, foregoing this process. Um, it's also completely ener energy efficient, it uses no energy at all, and there's no mechanics. So they just close when the sun heats up the wire inside? Yes, so the louvers themselves will close when it hits around 75 degrees. So today it's cloudy, so they're all open. Um, but when it hits 75, they'll all start closing um, and letting little slits of light within the home. And how did your studies in school help um, you create this design? Um, one of my, we have concentrations within our school and my concentra concentration was design technologies. So just the technology factors of people coming in from different schools and professors um, introducing us to the actual muscle wire and the company. And why is it important to put louvers on the outside of a house? So typical houses, their shading device is usually on the inside, but with that fact, um, sun always hits your window and your window always heats up. So by putting the louvers on the outside, your window is never going to get hot and the, the louvers themselves are getting hot instead. And would this be applicable for any climate, any house? Yes, yeah, so with the louver system itself, we actually are able to adjust the temperature range. So right now it's set at 75 degrees, but we could also make it adjust to 85 or go even lower. That's awesome. And um, with this experience under your belt, what careers do you see as future possibilities? Um, I see a big career choice in the fabrication of, of the actual screen itself or just going into an architectural practice firm. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is our, sh our shading screen. We're using a shape memory alloy um, to actually contract our louvers. So I'll demonstrate this with a heat gun. So when the wire itself gets heated up, it actually closes the louvers. And then when it cools down, it'll actually start opening back up. We're doing this so we don't get solar heat gain on the south side of our home. Um, when it opens, it lets heat gain in. Tune in, charge up, and be part of the solution. Join us for the next episodes of Watch Trekker. Use the link below to sign up for a chance to win prizes and to be notified when our next episode is available online.